Howdy, howdy, y'all. I'm out here at Kroom, down here by uh, Silver Lake at the boat ramp here, just getting started. I'm going to hike uh, along the river, the low water trail. Check it out. Haven't done the low water trail yet, so we'll see what it has in store. Let's go. Heading under I-75 here. And it's just a gorgeous morning. People out enjoying the river. It's like 73 degrees. Beautiful. just got here to where the connectors to the high water trail and the low water trail I've done the high water trail and um, now I'm gonna do the low water trail it'd be new to me that way the high water this is the low water Just can't get over how gorgeous of a morning it is. Even though there's road noise right now, maybe I'll get away from it soon. So today will be a little bit different hike for me. I'm not really worried about making a bunch of miles. I just want to be out and enjoy the trail, the weather, the morning, the day. It's just so pretty out here. So far I'm about a half a mile in and it's coming up close to the river again. It's pretty out here. Let's check it out. I'll show you what the river looks like over here. Can't really see it that great through the woods, but Keep going. I was just easing along the trail here. Seen this big cypress. Got a big old cypress here. Let me show it to you. Check the bottom of this thing out. That's a big one. I don't know how big around that is, but. I'll set my trekking pole down so you can see. Yeah. It's huge. Probably, I don't know, maybe a thousand years old, 800, 500, I don't know. I just know they're old. I'll check it out. go inside of it not me I 
That's cool. That's an oak tree coming out of it, I think. Yeah, it looks like an oak tree grew through it. Huh. All right, let's keep walking. Out here at Kroom, I really enjoy this area with it having the river going through it and it's got a little bit of elevation to it and quite a bit of diversity in the woods. But also, I did draw a hunt for out here this year for General Gun, so I figured I could kind of kill two birds with one stone, come out here and hike around and scout as I'm hiking and just spend time in the woods and hopefully walk off some of them cookies I ate today. Crooms is also about 45 minutes from my house and there ain't a lot of red lights between here and there and I like that. But uh, makes it kind of easy to get out here, especially early mornings. There isn't much traffic. Just hop on 98301. And I'm here. But I'm coming up here to a campsite right now. I think it's a canoe new campsite we came up to it on the john boat the other day and was checking it out but we didn't go to it because some people was camping there i just wanted to leave them be but maybe today i'll see it but check this out just a gorgeous day yeah canoe camp I guess you could, uh, you know, either launch your canoe here or leave it here, pull it up on the bank, go to your camp. Let's go check out the camp. I think I'm at the canoe camp here. It's not, it doesn't have a sign right here, but there's some yellow markers on trees. I'm wondering if it's like the camp boundary. And there's a little, I mean, it's a, it's where somebody had a fire, it's not a fire pit. But I'll show you. you see the yellow markers on the trees? I don't know if that's like a camp boundary. There's one. Another one. Another one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's not marked as a, as a camp. I'll keep going. Maybe there's one down in here. Just gonna have to get the John boat, bring it here in camp. Or kayaks. Beautiful. Seen a raccoon going up this tree. Almost. Let's see if he pokes his head out there. Yep. Let's see if I can get steady. Right there. The fork of that tree. Huh. So I'm not real sure about this. But uh, right here is a mound, and there's railroad tracks here, probably for logging or whatever back in the day. 
And uh, it probably was a bridge across the river because just right down there is the iron, old iron bridge. But uh, I'll show you from here. Let's check it out. And down there's the river. Here's a mound here. Probably was the railroad bed. Rocks and stuff, so yeah, had to be. Railroad ties. This had to have been a bridge, an old tram track. There's more ties right down there. It's pretty cool. Bunch of old history out here. A lot to do with logging. Probably mostly logging. I think there was an old town out here. I don't know when. Early 1900s, maybe? Anyway. Let me keep walking. Check it out. Can you imagine the work that it took to these old pioneers to come through and build these uh, train beds through these swamps and stuff just to get logs out of there the manpower it must have took and uh, the woods are slowly reclaiming it but I could just imagine it being booming out here and back then there being nothing other than these Men out here just working their butts off. A lot of history out here. Here's another pretty big cypress up here, right on the trail. As you can hear, there's a lot of road traffic. I just crossed over Croom Rydal Road. And I'm gonna go up here and connect onto the Florida Trail and hike on that for a ways and see if I can't connect something back to get back to the truck without backtracking too much. We'll see. All right, I just caught up here to the uh, Florida Trail Connector. And I'm gonna head north on it. Last time I went on it, I, I went the other way. Let's see. Yeah, last time I came through here, I took the High Water Trail, which is back behind me that way. And uh, there's the sign for that. And this time, took the low water trail and I'm going to connect up with the Florida trail and go that away so we're headed this way 
I have no clue how many miles. I'm not really keeping track of it. I guess I could go back through a far out app and see. But uh, I'm just out enjoying the day. But this is going to add up to some mileage. But it's beautiful, wind blowing, bluebird skies. And ain't nobody else's footprints on the trail but mine. Y'all need to get out. Last year, right after hunting season ended, I decided I, I didn't want to leave the woods. And for the most part, I believe almost every single weekend, I've been out in the woods. Either it's some sort of boating, fishing, hiking, mostly hiking. I can't get enough of it. And uh, I've always explored every time I've been out in the woods, I just would take off walking and walking and sometimes end up at places I've never been. But like I said, after hunting season, I wasn't done being in the woods and I just made my mind up. No more sitting around the house. I was gonna get out and enjoy. Matter of fact, there goes a deer right there being loud but i wouldn't have seen that at the house see that's why i'm out here maybe uh that deer crossed my path here in a minute let's keep going Well, I decided to change my route. I'm headed back south towards Silver Lake. I'm gonna do the the high water loop. And uh, and then whenever I get back to Silver Lake, which is where I'm parked, I'll just keep going south down the river on the Florida Trail. And I just going north, I didn't really have an option for A trail without backtracking so much and I wasn't interested in doing that today it's already 12:30, so yeah I'm gonna go back down by the river and uh, hike around the trail there Well, I made it back to Silver Lake Campground. Now, this is a pretty nice place, actually. They got a lot of RV hookups and everything. Good place to bring kids. With the drier weather and cooler weather coming in, I can smell smoke from these campgrounds and it's like, I don't know, makes me, makes me happy. I love the smell of it, of a campfire out in the woods. Only bad thing is road traffic. You can hear that. Yeah, other than that, it's gorgeous. 
I'm loving it. I come up to a sign up here that says for the hiking trail and it gives me an arrow to which direction to go. And that's which way my far out app says to go. But there's another trail that leads down that isn't on my far out app. And I don't think I have a map for it, but I'm gonna go down it. So Silver Lake goes back that way. It says hiking trail. It goes that way. And there's no signs saying this way but this way is the way I'm going let's check it out well looks like there's a boardwalk let's see where it goes There may be a paper map or some map you can download for this trail, but I don't have it. I see a campground over there. This must be the Crooked River Campground. There's bathrooms up there. Campground there. Yeah, I don't really think it was a trail trail per se, but mainly a cut through to get to a trail pretty neat though okay i think i'm gonna road walk back to my truck and i'm gonna get my truck before it gets too late and drive to a different part of the trail and uh just see closer to tucker hill uh i'm over here at silver lake area now but i'm gonna drive instead of hiking all the way over there that's a that's a pretty good little piece <laughs> so yeah that's what i'm gonna do go back to the truck and then drive over there see you over there okay so i just pulled up to where our trail crosses the service road over here by smith prairie trailhead and uh i'm gonna start hiking around here a little bit and see how far I can get it's two o'clock now I'm just gonna wander around just enjoy my time out here just got to an intersection in the trail here it looks like a cross trail C loop B loop B and C cross but I'm gonna walk the uh, C loop the 
going this way. Yeah, the wind is really starting to pick up. There's a cold front coming in. And uh, I think Monday and Tuesday is supposed to be pretty cool. Probably nice. But out here, it's a little bit more healy, more pines. And uh, you can just hear that wind clipping through them pines. Singing a song. Well, it looks like this loop I chose to do is about six miles. So I went from, uh, you know, just meandering through the woods to straight up hiking now because it's after two o'clock. I don't know, I can do about three mile an hour, probably a little more. But uh, yeah, I don't really want to be out here no later than four, 4.30. So it turned into a hike, it always does. But I just gotta always see what's around the next damn corner. I was walking down the trail and I just seen a deer. It saw me and it started hightailing it out of there. But this part of the woods is beautiful because you can see through it a long way. And it's not, you know, it's not what I'm used to seeing. It's different and I like it. Popping back out on the road here, crossing it, and it's right at the uh, campground. I think this is even the road I'm parked on, Forest Road 7, I think. Anyway, look around. I just come up on this little deep ravine over here. Check this out. Looks like it goes down there a little ways. Here's the trail. Hmm. I have more time, I go check it out down here. Looks like I'm going around the rim of it. That's a long way down there. This is a pretty cool trail. I'm still going up. I don't know if that's old mining's mining or what it is. But look over my shoulder. Yeah, you can't see nothing on this phone. Yeah, I'll turn around and see if I can show you. Yeah, I don't think you can tell with the camera. But it goes way down there. This is a pretty neat trail. If you walk it, then you know where I'm talking about. But there's a cardinal. Alright, gotta keep going. Well, I found a, a footprint that I'm not sure what it is, but have a look and see what y'all think. Put my trekking pole down there for size comparison could be a double step but that's pretty wide toes anyway what you think Well, it's 3.35, and I think I got about two and a quarter miles left to go. So I should get back, and yeah, four o'clock a little after. So, right on time, and I'll probably hang out around Smith Prairie, scout out a little bit, check it out, look around. All right, back to the trail.
I'm almost back to the truck, but this is an area where I want to hunt. And I just seen a deer. And the last time I came through here, I hadn't seen any deer all day long. But when I got to here, I saw some deer. So I'm off trail right now. I'm gonna look around this area and just see what it looks like and show y'all with the camera. And then I'll make my way back to the truck. But looks good already. There was a deer went that away. big field out there kind of low kind of like a marsh well folks it's been just a beautiful day out here hiking around in crooms and uh i hiked pretty much the, the low water route and uh the high water route and sea loop i believe so this place is today the weather is perfect this cold front coming in is a little breezy, cool. Didn't sweat that much. Didn't have to have a whole lot of water. And uh, it's just been so nice out here. Just keep looking around that next corner, around that next corner, and I just keep going and going. But that's what drives me. I love it. Well, thanks for watching this. And uh, we'll see where I go next weekend.